What's up guys, it's Totentons back with another video on how to ruin your fun at video games by cheating. Uh, this time we're going to cover how to unlock achievements for the Xbox One with Resident Evil 7 on your computer. Yes, on your computer. So if you have Resident Evil 7 for the Xbox One and you have a Windows 10 operating system on your computer, you can play Resident Evil 7 on your computer and it will use the same save information and it will synchronize with your uh, profile information on the Xbox One. So you can cheat to unlock achievements doing this. So what we'll do here is uh, we're going to use Cheat Engine and I will show you how to do it. First thing we want to do is open up a save and then we want to attach the process. What we're looking for is re7.exe and instead of uh, searching by just straight numerical values we're going to have to convert to hex luckily cheat engine makes it easy to do so if you've used cheat engine before you know basically how this works you search for a value and then you let the value change in game and you search for it again to see which address has changed in the same way and you just keep narrowing it down until you get the right one uh, but with this what you can do is find certain values that relate to achievements like uh, for example how many files you found how many antique coins you found how many times you open the item box and you can alter those values so the first thing we'll do is the item box if you go into stats you can see how many times you've opened the item box? We've done 13 times. So we will type in 13, then check the box for hex, and do our first scan. The first scan can take uh, a little while. It'll look like it's going super fast at first, and then it slows down. You just got to wait it out. Don't go back into the game and start doing things uh, while you're waiting for it, because that can uh, slow it down even further as values change. Right now, all the values in the game should be pretty much static, the important ones anyway, because we're not doing anything. Almost there. All right. We've got 109,000 uh, possibilities. Not a whole lot, actually. Um, we could hit next scan again to narrow it down a little bit because we got some of these values that are changing. But... What we want to do now is go back into the game, open the box, and then search for the new value, which is going to be 14. So uncheck the hex box, type in 14, check it again, hit next scan, and this scan should go a lot quicker. So we got narrowed down to nine addresses. Let's hit next scan one more time to get those ones off that are changing, and we're down to seven. And actually, we just got a bunch that changed right there, right when we were back into the window. So it's obviously this one that's not changing. So let's take that. And remember, this is in hex. So we're going to change it to 1. And let's go into our stats. As you can see, the item box opened. It's now 1. Uh, let's do antique coins. We're at uh, 5 out of 33. Actually, I think I already got that achievement, too. Um, yeah, I had a previous version of this video that I was trying to do where the game crashed. Um, you have to be careful with Cheat Engine. You can crash the game. And um, during that one, I uh, changed the files, obtained to 31, and then picked up a file to change it to 32, and it unlocked the achievement right there. So, um, But then the game crashed. So you want to save it as much as you can between changes. So we'll save that first. And then let's unload a little bit of merchandise. And then I'll show you how the files one works. It's basically the same deal 
actually, instead of that, let's do the uh, the one for making our ammo in the gun infinite. All right, so we got three bullets in the in the gun right now. Let's do three. New scan. First scan. This will take a few moments to load. I recommend doing this while you're in a safe room like the one we're in um, rather than in a mill fight like I was earlier when I tried to do it and froze my game. So most of these changes will carry over to the Xbox. Um, but obviously, if we freeze the value of bullets in this gun, that's not going to carry over because that's cheat engine keeping the value frozen. All right, so we fire once. And then we'll search for two. Fire one more time. Then we'll search for the number one. We're down to four values. And I can tell you right now, it's going to be this one right here. Only one that went down to zero. This one just finally went down to zero along with it. So let's change this one first. And we'll change it to three. And there you go. In game right there, it says three. Now, before we go too much further, let's save again just in case. Oh, I put all my cassette tapes in there. My bad. One sec. All right. Now, here's the trick that we want to do. Change this back to three. And then check this box. And now, infinite ammo with no reload. Pretty useful, right? Theoretically, you could do that with anything on here. If you had uh, first aid, you could search for that and freeze the value once you find it. Same deal. Nice, right? You could do that with health as well. That would be a little bit harder because you have to search for an unknown value because we don't know what is that, 100? Who knows? And then you'd have to search for the values changing and you'd have to get hurt in order to do that. So that's going to be a little bit more challenging. Definitely possible, though. So that's it. That's basically uh, the basics of hacking your game using Cheat Engine so you can unlock achievements. Up is these addresses here. Don't save those tables because those addresses will change every time you reload the game. Uh, they're not going to be the same. Okay, maybe there's a small statistical chance that they might end up being the same once in a while, so don't, you know, take that as, like, gospel. But in general, those tables are not going to work again, so don't save them. So that's it. Um, I'll have some more uh, videos coming on how to cheat in other games in the future, so subscribe if you want to see those. And uh, see you guys later, and thanks for watching.